こしげてよしげてよその仕組みを僕の中にこれじゃなカネキケン、AKA、トキオグー。I'm doing this just with the intro. If you're not a person that watches anime, I don't know why you're on this video.、Uh, you should probably. <laughs> Can you see this eye? No? Just looks like this eye's twitching. So, if you didn't know by now, Tokyo Ghoul is an anime that has been airing since. I, I don't know. I don't know when it's, when it's been airing. It's been airing for a long time, right? At least until like. At least like. I think 2010, probably. I don't know, maybe. Who knows these days? Stop it. I don't know. Get some help. <laughs> okay, so Tokyo Ghoul is an anime that I started watching a long time ago, and I fell in love with it immediately. Right? Season one was the most amazing, most epic anime I could have watched that year. Okay? I mean, it was, it was the first anime that I watched which was shorter than everything else, like seasonal anime. It was an ongoing series type of thing. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. it the story, by the way,、uh, if you didn't know about it,、uh, it follows a boy named Kaneki Ken. right? He's a freshman university student and he gets asked by his friend Hide to go ask out a girl,、uh, Rize, which he keeps on staring at like a pedophile. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. In any case, he's just like, you know,、uh, screw it, I'll, 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 I'll go ahead and I'll,、uh, I'll go ask her out. Eventually, they go out for dinner, she turns into a ghoul, she tries to eat him, she dies, he gets badly hurt because of the bite marks and all of the eating shit, and、uh, he gets her organs because she's dead, and then he becomes a half ghoul. So basically, season one follows how Kaneki is a ghoul. He transitions from being a human to being a ghoul.、Uh, fun fact ghouls cannot eat human food, they can only eat humans. <laughs> But they can only eat human food. Okay, never mind. That was a stupid joke. Wow, Ethan. So, Kaneki finds a new home at this place called the Anteku, which is a coffee shop, a cafe, if you, if you will. If you want to be a little more f o r m about that, I don't, I don't even know what that is. Jesus, Ethan! <laughs> so, he basically decide, decides to go and live with these guys, try and figure out his ghoul ways and all that shit. And he stumbles upon an investigator, Amon, and they. Fight it out and stuff, and he says he doesn't want to be a ghoul, he never wants to be a ghoul, he doesn't want to be a ghoul. If you want to know the whole story,、uh, I do link a video down below. Five minutes,、uh, Tokyo Ghoul in five minutes, it's really cool. Not the original voiceovers, it's really amazing though, to be honest with you. It explains it perfectly, even though it's like full comedy.、Um, so, here's the reason why I'm making this video, okay? If you're new to anime, and if you think that, hey, he says Tokyo Ghoul's pretty awesome,、mm -hmm. I said season one is pretty awesome. I don't recommend this anime for anyone who's starting to watch anime. It's super confusing, like ultra confusing. And the reason why is because it's not actually an anime.、Um, I was watching Heavenly Controller, if you don't know who he is, you can,、uh, you can check him out as well. He's, Amazing, he has live reactions to a lot of different animes and stuff, which is super cool. And he explains the episode as it goes along. What happened here is with this anime is that they leave entire volumes and chunks of the story out, they just leave it out. Like, they expect you to read the manga.、Uh, by the way, if you don't know what anime is, you probably don't know what manga is. 
Shit. Okay, so manga is basically comic books. It's like a comic book, okay? And anime is the adaptation. You know like how Marvel comics and then Marvel cartoons? Same thing. Same thing. I'm really good at this. Season 1 ends off with Kaneki finally finding his identity as a ghoul. Okay? He gets trapped or he gets kidnapped or caught by this guy named Jason from the Algini tree, which is the baddest of the bad ghouls. They want to go to war with humans and basically uh, conquer the world, eat all humans, blah blah blah, that whole agenda type of thing. Okay, so you see that obviously Jason is torturing him and that goes really well, like Kaneki gets effed up, but because he's a ghoul, he regenerates really quickly, so everything that Jason effs up, he still feels the ultimate pain of that being removed and that being hurt, but it regenerates, so he can just do it over and over again. Worst type of torture. I know. I know. Okay, so Kaneki eventually speaks to Rize, uh, the, the girl that, that tried to eat him, yeah? The one that the, her organs are in his body. Yeah, she talks to him in his brain. <sighs> Kaneki's hair turns white, like, look at this. Yeah, and then the cool music goes in the back of the thing that one last episode, obviously. And he eats Jason. Pretty freaking cool. And he adopts this. So, okay, so he did that that thing, and yeah, that's what Jason used to do, but now he does it as well. He has black nails and white hair. Uh, yeah, absolutely insane. Anyway, <laughs> um, basically we figure out that in season one, he wants to kill the algae tree, correct? Yeah, that makes sense. Season two. He, uh, he joins the algae tree. And we don't know why, because in the anime, he doesn't. Uh, in the anime, he does, but in the manga, he creates his own team to take down the Algiri tree. Yeah. And in the end of season two, basically, like, a whole lot of shit happens, okay? I'm, I'm leaving a lot of crap out. But, basically, he does all this crap, and then he, uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ, what am, I, what am I saying? What am I doing in my life? Oh my god, I'm explaining them an anime to you guys. That This is what pissed me off, but listen, okay? Shut up! Listen. Okay, so in the end of season two, he's seen carrying his best friend Hide. The one that told him to go talk to Rize in, in the start. Rize's the girl that tried to eat him, but now her organs are in him. You still with me? Okay, cool. Hide actually knew that he was a ghoul all along. And, um... Yeah, I don't know whether I told you this, but he was hiding his actual ghoul identity from his human friends. He only had one human friend, by the way. He eats Hide, his best friend. So Hide sacrifices himself for Kaneki. <laughs> season 3 starts, okay? Season 3. Season 3. Tokyo Ghoul Re, right? Oh, by the way, I didn't even tell you about the names. Oh my god! Okay, so the first one is Tokyo Ghoul. The second one is Tokyo Ghoul Root A, which is not canon, right? Now, I keep talking about canon. All I can tell you about that is that it's not a direct licensed adaptation from the manga. That's what I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. That, that's all I know, right? That's the best way to tell you. Okay, so season three, or Tokyo Ghoul Re, is actually canon. So it takes place proper adaptation from the manga, apparently, okay? So, when season 3 starts, you get into this whole thing about this dude named Sasaki Heise, who looks like Kaneki, speaks like Kaneki, acts a lot like... Well, okay, doesn't act a lot like Kaneki, because he's like really cheery, he acts like a klutz, all this weird shit, but... He's Kaneki, okay? But you don't realize that, you just think that he's Kaneki. And then they show you things like, okay, wait, Kaneki is actually living inside of him because he starts to speak to himself in his brain. Remember how Rize did that shit? Kaneki is speaking to Heisei in his brain, okay? Who is Heisei? We don't know because we didn't read the freaking manga. Here's the thing that irritated me so much is that they forced you to read the manga if you want to watch the anime. Because in season 3 or Tokyo Ghoul Re, they just include a brand new set of characters 
and they didn't care to tell us who those characters are, how they came into it. So let me explain to you, okay? In the end of season two, um, like I told you, Panicky is holding Hide in his hands and he's going to bury him because he tried to, he, he ate his friend, basically. So his remains is there and he's going to bury him. But he fights Arima, which is the king of the doves. I didn't tell you about the doves. Okay, so the doves are the people that hunt the ghouls. Okay, they're basically called CCG. People call them doves, okay? Because doves, purity and all that bullshit. Okay, cleansing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, doves are the policemen that take down ghouls. Okay, and Arima is the top of the food chain. Okay, this dude is a freaking beast. And Kaneki goes toe to toe with him and loses. Arima stabs Kaneki twice in the eye and then uh, takes him to the cochlea, the highest form of ghoul prison. And then he nurses him back to health, gives him books to read, and then we realize that Kaneki loses his memory. And that is how Arima gives him the alter ego, Haisei Sasaki. So he doesn't even know who the heck he is. What? Here's where shit gets even more annoying. Haisei Sasaki is Kaneki. But in the whole time that I've been watching Re, I've been saying, Oh my god, Haisei, would you die? I want Kaneki. Because I didn't know that was Kaneki. Until after I watched Tokyo Ghoul Re. Because I didn't read the freaking manga. I don't read manga. But I had to read it. 149 volumes of it. Plus Re. Which I'm still reading. Because it's a shit ton of read. So Tokyo Ghoul Re goes on. And then... In Tokyo Ghoul Re 2 which is the fourth season of Tokyo Ghoul, Kaneki's back. But he's a dove. Huh? Here's, here's my issue, okay? okay here's, here's, here's my problem. Here's my... my problem. Are you hearing this? Here's my problem. I don't want to read the manga. So, why did I tell you about this? Firstly, if you are planning to watch Tokyo Ghoul, don't read it first. Basically, this is a read-along series. That's, the anime just like fills in the blanks. It's like, uh, I'm gonna put some there. Okay, four volumes there, I'm gonna put some there. Ten volumes there, I'm gonna put some there. And that's how the anime is, okay? Like in the first episode of season four, they skipped an entire arc. Like they gave you, they wrapped up like two ox in, in 30 seconds. First 30 seconds. You see, see people facing off against each other, facing off against each other. You don't know what's happening, but it happened. And then all of a sudden, Kaneki is now a freaking dog himself, but he's still a ghoul. What? And then some chick whose name is Sentatsuki, which Kaneki fought. And cut her body in half. Cut her in half by cutting her body. She's a full person. He had an arm off and in season four he has two arms. I, I don't know. Oh my god, what am I doing? Why am I making this video? I'm done. I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. If you did like it, uh, like, uh, follow me, subscribe. Jesus Christ, I, I don't know. Why did I do this to myself?